Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second annual Qatar Economic Forum. This convening is taking place during a critical time for the global economy. Supply chains are breaking down, markets are volatile, inflation has soared, and so is the cost of energy. And it's all taking place against the backdrop of the deadliest pandemic in more than a century. This forum is a great opportunity to address those issues and many more. And it's a perfect place to do it since Qatar, led by His Highness Sheikh Tamim, is leading the way on the global energy transition. Over the next three days, we're going to hear from a slate of accomplished leaders in business and government. They'll speak to why we need to strengthen our trading ties, implement ambitious green transition plans, and close the skills gap that so many companies are struggling with. That's a lot to cover, but I'm optimistic about what the future holds, and I hope you'll leave feeling inspired to take on the challenge before us. Welcome to Doha, and enjoy the forum. Please welcome to the stage, Zane Vergy, host of the Qatar Economic Forum. Your Highness, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Qatar Economic Forum, powered by Bloomberg. We are meeting at a time of extreme uncertainty. The world is emerging from the darkest days of the pandemic, yet COVID continues to lurk. There is a war raging in Europe's heartland. Supply chains are disrupted. The cost of living is soaring. Rising inflation is eroding incomes. And millions are falling back into poverty. Nobody thought that the promise of globalization would deliver a scenario of rising inequality. Three centuries of economic progress powered by fossil fuels may leave us with a planet in peril, thanks to climate change. Our biosphere, our home, is burning up, literally. In navigating this black swan world, we will need vision, courage, and commitment. The Qatar Economic Forum heeds to the ancient adage that it is better to light a candle than curse the darkness. And I trust that you will join us as lamplighters in guiding the world to a more progressive, sustainable, and inclusive future. 
We are all in this together. I'd now like to invite Bloomberg's editor-in-chief, John Micklethwaite, to the stage. Thank you, Zane. I'm not quite feel, feel sure I feel like a candle, but I'll do my best. Um, your Highness, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this region is fast evolving. It's always been, always had a traditional position as the world's energy supplier. Now it's aiming to become a global hub of technology, of trade and business, and indeed of food security we were just discussing. Bloomberg, with the world's largest business newsroom, is here to chronicle capitalism, and there is ever more capitalism going on here. So convening events such as the Qatar Economic Forum is just one example of our commitment to this region where we are growing fast as a newsroom. Uh, 